Imagine a single company holding the keys to the world's most powerful technology, a company so vital that the biggest tech giants and even world governments depend on it for survival. That company exists, and it's not in Silicon Valley, it's in Taiwan. TSMC, the semiconductor powerhouse at the center of a global tech war. The US needs it, China wants it. And if things take a turn for the worse, the battle for chip supremacy could spark something much bigger than a trade war. Could the next world conflict start? Because of TSMC? It all started back in the 1970s when the Taiwanese government had the foresight to bet big on semiconductors. At the time, Taiwan wasn't exactly a tech powerhouse, but they knew they had to move beyond traditional manufacturing to stay competitive. So they set up the Industrial Technology Research Institute ITRI, to start building local expertise in chip making. Fast forward to the 1980s, and here comes Morris Chang, a former Texas Instruments executive with a game-changing idea. He founded TSMC in 1987, and instead of designing its own chips, TSMC focused purely on manufacturing chips for other companies. That was a revolutionary move because it allowed companies like Apple, Nvidia, and Qualcomm to focus on designing chips without having to build their own factories. This pure play foundry model took off, and before long, TSMC became the go-to manufacturer for the world's most advanced semiconductors. The Taiwanese government played a massive role in the success. They didn't just throw money at the industry, they created entire tech ecosystems like Xinchu Science Park, which became a hub for semiconductor innovation. They also invested heavily in engineering education, ensuring there was a steady pipeline of highly skilled talent. All of this helped Taiwan build a serious competitive edge. By the 2010s, TSMC wasn't just a major player, it was the player. 